CT4 machine. CT4 machine is one of the simplest machines that we have. It's, it's air powered, 100% air powered. Um, one of the things that makes it super simple is we have one hose operation. One hose basically to, to do the entire service. The object of the tool is what we want to do is after we get our, our engine warmed up, what we want to do is go through the upper radiator, radiator cap, depending no matter where the radiator cap is. It can either be on a, on a standard radiator that has a, the, the cap right on the, on the radiator, or it can be a, a cooling system that has the radiator cap on like a surge tank or, or an expansion tank. The basic, basically how the tool works, it works off a vacuum system. What we want to do is, what we want to do is we've got a series of adapters. Um, we've got a, basically a plug here. Basically what we want to do is we want to remove the radiator cap. We want to identify the right adapter that we're wanting to use, either a small plug or a large plug, or the cross flow adapter for the cross flow radiator. Basically what this does is allows the tube to get clear to the bottom of the radiator. Basically after we get the right adapter onto the radiator cap, where the radiator cap was, basically what we want to do is we want to hook our, our, our hose up to that adapter. After we get hooked up to that adapter, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the machine on and pull a vacuum on the cooling system. We want to pull the vacuum on the cooling system when the engine is running and when it is at operating temperature. That's when you're going to get your best results. After we got, our, we got our adapter hooked up to the vehicle, we've got our hose hooked up to the vehicle, we're going to go ahead and go to extract, vacuum pump on. We, don't, we do not want to extract for more than two minutes. That's, that's going to be our guideline. So we're going to, we're going to do two, one of two things. We're going to know that we're done vacuuming out of the vehicle by either one watching our hose, and when we stop seeing fluid coming from the vehicle, or two, we get to the two minute mark, we're going to know that, that we're done with that stage of the service. At that point, we're going to have a vacuum on the cooling system on the vehicle. So what we'll do is we'll turn our vacuum pump off and we'll just go to vacuum return. The vacuum that's on the engine, the cooling system of the vehicle, is basically going to pull the new fluid from our new, new coolant jug back into the vehicle. Just going to suck it right back in there. Um, after we're done doing after that, that should take the whole service should take a matter of you know three to four minutes with the machine. It's uh, fast. It's simple. One of the major issues we do have with the machine, the efficiencies of this machine is from 30 to 60, 60 to 70 percent, depending on the cooling system. Well, if you got one of the systems, you're, you're only getting 30 to 50 percent efficiency out of it. Obviously, you're not doing a very good service. So. The, the reason we're not getting a very good service out of it is because if you think about it, if we can't, if we're not using a cross flow radiator, if we, if we can't get this tube all the way to the bottom of the radiator to suck from the bottom of the radiator, then basically what we're doing is sucking from the top of the radiator with this adapter right there. If we're sucking from the top of the radiator, what happens is the only place that we're going to get any fluid out of that vehicle is where something is collapsing and that's going to be your radiator hoses and that's where you're going to get your worst efficiencies now if you've got you know if you if you're doing a, a service and you see the fluid coming out and it's 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 black or, or or brown or thick that tells you that you might have to do the service more than once granted the service like I said before the service only takes three to four minutes max so you could do the service three or four times, how many times is necessary, to get a good efficiency out of it. When the service is complete, to top off the radiator, go ahead and go to fill, turn the fill pump on. Turn the fill pump on, go ahead and fill your radiator, your reservoir up, your radiator, um, your uh, overflow. Go ahead and fill everything up and you're done with the service. To start the CT4 service, CT4 machine runs off air, air powered. We want to make sure it's hooked to an air source. Next thing what we want to do is make sure 
that we've got enough room in our radiator where it's flush. We see our coolant's all the way to the top of our, of our radiator. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull some fluid out of there. That way we can get our cleaner into the system. I want to extract fluid. So I'm going to put the machine in extract. I'm going to go to on. Full enough where I think that I can get my cleaner in there. That should be a plenty. I'll put my flush in. And I want to start the vehicle. I want to let the vehicle idle for 10 to 15 minutes to allow the cleaner, the flush, to do its job. After the 10, 15 minutes is up, what I want to do is determine which adapter I'm going to need, which rubber plug I'm going to need for this, the opening of the radiator. It's a small radiator cap, so I'm going to need a small rubber plug. I'm going to hook my service wand, hook my service wand up to the radiator opening, take my service hose, up to my service one. I want to extract once again. And I'm going to go turn vacuum on. I, I want to run the time no more than two minutes. So at two minutes, I'll know that the extracting of the old coolant will be complete. I also know it's complete as if during the service or during the extraction process that we start, you know, stop getting fluid, old fluid coming out of the system. As we can see, we're getting air bubbles right now. So that's telling me that we're getting to the end of our extraction process already. We're going to go ahead and let it run to the two minute, two minute period to get as much fluid out of the vehicle as possible. We know that the service is working because the whole goal here is to pull a vacuum on the cooling system. You see the upper radiator hose has collapsed. That tells me that the that tells me that a vacuum is has been placed, is being placed on the cooling system. As you can see, we still got fluid coming out of the system. The extraction process is working exactly like it should. We can see we're getting more, more bubbles, more time periods before fluid's actually flowing. One of the most important parts of this service is to make sure that the vehicle is at operating temperature before and while we're during the, doing the service. As you can see, we're about at the two minute mark and we've completed, we're not getting any more fluid out of the cooling system getting a little bit here and there, but we are at our two minute mark, so we want to stop. So we're going to turn our vacuum pump off. We pull a vacuum on the cooling system, so we're going to go ahead and go to vacuum return. The vacuum that's on the cooling system of the vehicle is going to pull the new coolant out of the new jug on our machine. As you can see, the new coolant is going down. As the new cooling is going down and as the vacuum on the cooling system is pulling the new coolant in, we're, we're losing the vacuum that we had on the system. One way we can tell that the system is getting full again 
we'll see the upper radio hose start to expand. As soon as the upper radio hose has expanded to its full capacity, to its original shape, then we know that the vacuum, the we know that the vacuum of the new coolant is finished. As we can see, our upper radio hose is expanding, expanding to its original shape. Once it's to its original shape, we know that the service is complete. Once it expands to its original shape, we know that the that the process of the engine pulling the new coolant in is done. As we can see, we formed an air bubble right here in our in our service one. We want to go ahead and disconnect. Pull my rubber rubber service wand off here. The next thing what I want to do is make sure that we got enough room for our conditioner. Once again I'm going to have to pull some fluid out of the radiator. Pull some fluid out of the radiator. Once again we want to go back to extract. Turn the vacuum pump on. I'm satisfied that we've got enough room. I'm going to add my conditioner. radiator is full. I'm going to go ahead and put my cap back on the system. And what I want to do is check my radiator coolant reservoir, my overflow reservoir. The reservoir is empty. So what we're going to have to do, use our machine. We're going to go ahead and fill the reservoir. To fill, what we're going to have to do is put the machine in fill, turn our fill pump on. We're going to fill our overflow, overflow jug up to the full mark, turn our pump off. And our 